Hi, this is Dr. Donald Pelto. I have one of my patients here. We recently just finished with her bunion surgery. As you can see, the incision is looking good. We took out the stitches today. Those little strips are from the stereo strips that were on there. Now is the time we need to get back and get it moving. And, and I, I marked here on her foot the two different lines here. There's one joint here and there's one joint here. When you're moving the toe, you can't just move it at this joint. As you see, it's not affecting the big joint where we need to affect it. So. Um, the patients, when they move it, they actually have to move it at this big joint. And as you can see, that line there, so moving it right here doesn't do anything, but moving it here at, at this big joint is important. So my patient here is about two to three weeks after the surgery, and she's still using her, her handy-dandy boot there, as you can see. Um, and now we're getting back to, to doing more activity. She's going to probably stay in the boot for a couple of weeks more, and then as she's able, as this is feeling better, she's going to transition into a shoe, and then into uh, just no normal shoe gear. She can start getting it wet now as long as all the incisions are completely healed up. So this bunion is looking very good. As you can see on the top of it, there's very little bump there. It looks nice and straight compared to previous bump.